Dear all, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will understand how to integrate SOLIDWORKS with Team Center. Below points are the agenda for this video. SOLIDWORKS users struggle to manage the CAD designs and data. The pain points include. There is no single source of product data, which gives all information about data and process connections. No means of medium to collaborate efficiently with other teams. Decentralized data, which consumes a major chunk of time to find correct data. Complexity to find the latest and correct revisions of SOLIDWORKS which leads to unnecessary change orders. And lastly, inconsistency in work processes. These points are sufficient to consider the better option. And the perfect solution to avoid all this trouble is, Team Center integration for SOLIDWORKS. Now Team Center is embedded right within SOLIDWORKS, designers can find data quickly and reuse it. Also, for the data authored and updated in different mechanical CAD tools. Configuration and variant management becomes easy. SOLIDWORKS supports configurations and design tables. Managing the bill of materials become more efficient and advanced. Automated tasks and change processes can also be accessed through integration. SOLIDWORKS integration has an intuitive user interface, it contains SOLIDWORKS-specific tools to manage data. Shortcut menu display list of functionalities that can be performed. Users can see cache files in workspaces making file management easier. Hosted active workspace gives access to all Team Center functionality so that we can easily edit product structure in Team Center and load in SOLIDWORKS. Managing configurations becomes efficient, with separate options to add or remove them in the Team Center database. There are two main steps of integration. First is done on server side and the second is client side integration. In some cases, server and client integration can be done on the same machine. Before proceeding to integration, the software listed on the screen is required. Let's start with integration demo. Team Center integration for the SOLIDWORKS package will contain these files. The integration server components are installed entirely with the Team Center Environment Manager, TEM. Utility. Before performing a server installation, all users must be logged out of Team Center, all server processes must be halted. In Team Center root, install folder, you will get the Team Center Environment Manager utilities, run it as administrator. Advance the installation prompt to the feature maintenance screen. In the Features window, using the Browse button, navigate to the directory that contains the Team Center integration for SOLIDWORKS BMIDE template. Select the folder corresponding to your Team Center version. Select the feature underscore swim .xml file from the TEM contribution folder. After returning to the Features window, select the newly added integration for SOLIDWORKS feature, and then press Next. Check all locations and click on Next. Enter your Team Center password and click on Next. Shows the name of template file, click on Next. Click on Start to proceed with the installation. After seeing the display of successful installation message, we can understand the server side integration is done. For validation, open the configuration file which you will find in the Team Center root install folder. Check for these lines shown on the screens. We are done with server-side integration. The following are the prerequisites for the client installation. Let's proceed with the client-side installation. Integration clients may be installed with two-tier, four-tier, or standalone TCCS system. In the package of Team Center integration with SOLIDWORKS, you will find swimsetup.exe. Double click on this file to start the installer. For copyright notice, click on Next. Again, for introduction part, click on Next. Select the appropriate Team Center version and click on Next. Choose either Basic or Enterprise License and click on Next. You must select the directory where the Team Center integration for SOLIDWORKS files will be installed. The Choose button will display a file selection dialog to help you select a directory. Restore default folder will restore the default selection. The installer will prompt for a location to create shortcuts. 
users can select one from the given option. Select Team Center Rich Client Installation. If a standalone installation of TCCS is available on the then select the second option. If you selected Team Center Rich Client in the previous step, you must specify the location of the Team Center Rich Client's portal subdirectory. Click on Next. Specify the directory where the TCCS software is installed. This is found directly under the Team Center Rich Client installation directory. Specify the Java Runtime Environment version, it must be compatible with the Team Center version. Click on Next. The installer can configure the Team Center integration for SolidWorks to save direct model files for viewing in the Team Center Rich Client and the Active Workspace Client. The Generate and Save option generates and saves the JT file for a SolidWorks model while the model itself is saved to Team Center. The Save Only option saves the JT file for a SolidWorks model, while the model itself is saved to Team Center. The No Action option causes JT files to be ignored when models are saved to Team Center. In this case, JT Translator is not installed. Hence, selected No Action. If Enable option is selected in this prompt, then the installer can configure the Team Center integration for SolidWorks to recognize and process SolidWorks toolbox parts. If enabled is selected, you must enter at least one SolidWorks toolbox path. The Windows registry is red for the default SolidWorks toolbox location, but this can be changed and added to as necessary. The installer can configure the Team Center integration for SolidWorks to allow users to transfer ownership of items from remote sites to their own sites. Choosing Yes gives you the choice of whether the Transfer Ownership command should be available to users in the SolidWorks Team Center integration pane. Here we are choosing option No. The installer will display a pre-installation summary of all the options you have selected, as shown below. If you are satisfied with all the settings, click Install to begin the installation. You can go back and make changes to these settings by using the previous button. For validation, go to the Control Panel, Programs, and Features. You will see the Team Center integration for SolidWorks with version as the name of the client. Also check for the Install Folder path. If you kept the default selection while installation, then the SWIM folder is created in C drive. After you complete the integration process, following post-installation steps can be performed for more customized and efficient use of integration. You can import the mappings in Team Center. You can get SWIM.xml and SWIM.properties files in the SWIM folder. In the SWIM.xml file you can add information related to attribute mapping, custom items etc. SWIM.properties file is used to enable various preferences. Like SolidWorks, PLM Nordic Team is experienced in CAD integration with the softwares displayed on the screen. Please visit our Team Center and NX Helpline, which is free and open to all PLM community. Here, you will get instant expert assistant, guidance, and best practices for your organization. You can also email us at mentioned email ID. We provide services to these Siemens products and also, developed our own smart port application to automate issue reporting and resolution. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more PLM-related content.